what's going on welcome back this video is gonna be crazy because today we're trying out a different flash time game on roblox one that i think you're all really going to like so with that said of course make sure to like the video and subscribe and let's get into this i'm pretty excited to hop into this if you guys don't know there's this game on roblox literally called flash time and now of course i'll link the game in the description uh, how it works is it's e for flash time and shift for sprint and flash time is a hundred times slower and there are zero people playing right now so definitely definitely give it a try it's pretty cool now if you guys remember the zoomies that was another flash time game i played on the channel it's kind of similar but there's some new mechanics in here i want to show you guys i'm i'm really a big fan of and i think you're gonna like a lot this is the base speed okay we're just normal we're just a normal guy walking right this is this is what you see in any roblox game okay you can see these kind of particles flying out of here uh and let's say okay we're just gonna run at the speed of the flash right in the tv show uh if you guys have ever watched the flash or even in the movies the Flash is always able to run fast, but they don't always show him in flash time. So this is probably the best depiction of it. That's e that it's you're able to run around is what I'm saying. You're able to this this is a very small place to run around. So it's not so fast that it's hard to move around. So obviously the flat the Flash is faster than this, but it's going to make it easy for what we're going to try to demo. And he's not even at full speed. Technically when he's at full speed, we're going to be in flash time. So let's show it. So let's go ahead and go over to one of these flames for example and press e okay so now we're in flash time i know it's kind of crazy and similar to the zoomies it all slows down now it doesn't leave a clone behind you but you do get this kind of trail behind you so it's just kind of different how they've gone about it but look the block is slowly falling down the fire is still moving but very slowly and you can see all the particle effects we're all accustomed to on Roblox are going extremely slow, barely moving. Now, if I turn it off, look, now it's all coming out, right? Now I turn it on again, nothing. It's just, we're moving so fast, the particles literally cannot keep up. Now, the only thing that is acting normally is the lightning around me because the speed force is that fast, which is just mind-blowing if you really think about it. So... There's a couple things I want to test out. Now, if you guys think about it, the problem with having super speed in real life is, or at least flash time, we're moving at like insanely fast speed. I don't even I don't even want to comprehend how fast we're moving, right? Because technically, if someone were to be standing over here and we were to be running like this, we could run around this whole place like a thousand times and then turn flash time off and still be here. That's why in the zoomies, they have a clone to leave behind and it's just it just blows my mind the whole concept of flash time like in general so look at this okay let's go to this ball okay so if we go ahead and we just you know tap the ball it's it's a pretty heavy ball right you you can kind of move it like if you get your avatar to kind of glitch on it like there is stuff you could do but it's obviously going to take a lot of power to move it and you could turn your speed on and it's going to do something but the ball is still heavier than us and our speed is not going to move it so if we really want to move an object that's like 10 times our weight 100 times our weight like look it's pushing us forward we're gonna have to run way way faster thus here comes the super speed so now let's say let's just test this out i i think there's different ways to do this technically we're moving like way faster than like the fastest airplane on earth or something like i don't i don't know how fast we're moving but we're, we're moving really fast so i feel like if we were to touch this it should go flying and you can see look at the damage i just did to it it's already moving this way and it's in flash time now if i were to let go it stays still so interesting it's interesting how it works now if we were to do it quicker while it's moving and then we turn it off there is a bigger push and that was just a tiny tap and think about how heavy these balls are and and this ball is way bigger so we'll try that out in a second so let's go ahead let's take this ball and let's just run full speed into it i want to actually let's move it out here a little bit oh my god that's it's so powerful i just tapped it okay 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 here we go okay let's run over here and i want to go full speed into this ball we're just gonna hit it this way and it's probably gonna go flying so let's just see what happens and wait can we jump oh we can we can jump okay we have to try that too full speed hit oh not terrible actually <laughs> okay let's try it like this full speed boom huh I think it's because I was on top of it. That's a big hit. So actually, that's weird. Full speed is about the same amount of power. What if we like jump into it? I'm just, remember, it's trying to emulate flash time as best as it can. 
and when you think about it it's still just a script so i mean that's still so awesome so let's try this now let's take one of these bigger balls i think this one is the biggest so let, let's try the biggest one and we'll see what happens so let's activate flash time okay or actually no, let's do this let's just push it okay look you can move this okay and it is going to be very hard to stop it you have to walk the other way this thing is probably twice the twice the size twice the weight of the last ball we were just messing around with so let's go ahead turn our flash time on and give it a little nudge and look look, look at this thing move let's really get it going watch this ready here we go now i'm getting going and oh that's crazy dude that is way too powerful now we didn't even use super speed what happens if we really push it like really push it come on get moving let's go let's go let's go oh my god think all right guys think about how fast that is moving relative to flash time right everything is moving at 100 times less speed oh my god that is so cool that is so cool think about that guys think about how, okay when we, when we stop time now look how slow everything's moving and look how slow this is and when we start moving it that's just it's just insane it just blows my mind when you really like when you really think about it imagine if there were like a multiplayer roblox game okay and you were the only person who had flash time they would have no idea what, what was happening because they would have to freeze technically because obviously you can't have like real flash time in a video game they'd have to freeze how it, how it would work okay it would be like i would uh, let's say i'm a normal person okay i would be here and i wouldn't be able to move and then let's say the ball is another avatar so the avatar would be standing in place and we would have no idea what's going on everything in the game would be frozen he would be standing there and then when he unfreezes flash time the whole game would be changed there'd be blocks flying around everywhere if you understand what i'm saying let me know in the comment section below and if you made it this far into the video right um flash time is crazy in all caps i'll make sure to uh, give you a heart in the comment section but tell me this is not mind-boggling this is games like this like the zoomies um that iron man testing i've done before like the first working mark 85 i love these roblox tests because they're just so cool you know let's go over, let's go over here for a second look at this i believe a ball can still shoot up or one of these cubes can still shoot up but it's just so crazy it's just so crazy and then you can actually see yourself through there that's so weird oh that's so weird can we move these no we can't move them okay still though wow it's just so cool it's just so cool okay i would turn the music on i believe it does slow down but i like to keep it off just because of copyright if you guys really want to see that get this video to a thousand likes all right if you guys get this video to a thousand likes i will risk the copyright strike and turn the music on and hear what it uh, sounds like to slow down the time but of course i will link it in the description below if you guys do want to try it out for yourself and let me know in the comment section if it works on mobile because i am very curious and i do know there's a big mobile community out there and maybe even let me know if, if it's on a uh, xbox that would be crazy you know my xbox players need some more games but um if you guys want to see another game like this, go watch my video on the Zoomies. It's it's a really cool interpretation of Flash Time, similar to this, just with their own type of development. I mean, you can see this was made by Magical Toonsman, so I actually want to see if he has anything else made. But anyways, guys, I don't want to get too off track. Get this video a thousand likes if you want to see more Flash Time content. And with that said, go watch the Zoomies video.